back to my channel and welcome if you're new so it's the first of the month so february 1st new month new goals it's a short month um personally january was cool you know maintain my weight didn't gain didn't lose though you know but it's cool it's cool we good i got really good with my protein goals so that's more important to me than actual weight loss because i'm actually stronger too like i'm able to lift more deadlift more and it's really lit and i know this because my protein's been off the chain so you take some wins and you take some losses since we're talking about protein must-haves you guys know that i've been recently um telling you guys about built bars protein bars in general is just something you probably want to have on hand again protein goals and it's just easy to just eat grab a few but the cool thing about built bars that i like is like yo look at all the cool flavors they have like this is double chocolate but you guys it actually is just like a chocolate bar like it's the same consistency it tastes like a chocolate bar all of their protein bars are actually coated in 100% chocolate and it's dark chocolate so like this is raspberry that was double chocolate this one is one of my faves it is the lemon almond cheesecake protein bars are a must-have and built bars are some of the best so if you guys do want to try out built bar just remember to check the description box below there is a link that allows you to get 20 percent off my snowflakes have already raved about how much they like them so if you haven't tried them yet here's your chance but you're gonna want to have some protein bars on hand if you're serious about getting your protein uh, in today we're doing a grocery haul by the title you guys already knew uh yeah grocery haul had to go and get my groceries i noticed living by myself so last month i don't know if you guys noticed i usually had grocery hauls like almost every week but since i live by myself now y'all i go and buy what i need and it pretty much lasts the entire month because i do eat out occasionally like maybe twice a week um so yeah my groceries pretty much last for the entire month Actually, I still have some salmon in the freezer from last month, and that's the only meat I have left. Y'all know I periodically go to the store to stock up on veggies, but yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, the grocery stores of choice for this haul was Whole Foods. I got two bags from Whole Foods and a bag from Trader Joe's. Now, y'all know I am a Trader Joe's whore bag. Like, <laughs> I love Trader Joe's. But Whole Foods has moved this way on up into my heart, baby. And I'm really, really loving Whole Foods. You guys, I got some protein faves. Really something cool in the Whole Foods bag that I just figured out, like found out about. And it's really lit. So I can't wait to show you guys. But we're going to start off with Trader Joe's first because, you know, we just more familiar. And don't get it twisted just because it's one bag. They filled this bag up. But I spent $51 at Trader Joe's and $58 at Whole Foods so a little bit over a hundred dollars and for the month because I'm telling you guys I got a lot of meat as you guys will see and this will last me if not the entire month of February very close to it and I probably will just have to go back to the store to get stuff like eggs cheese you know um veggies but my protein is pretty much solid for the month so going into the Trader Joe's bag, I got a bag of butter lettuce. I prefer the butter lettuce over romaine. Uh, no special reason, it's just the texture of it. I just prefer it. I haven't had lettuce in quite a while because I went through a thing where I tried to put salad with everything and I got sick of it. So um, I decided to have some lettuce and I just remembered why I got the lettuce and I don't have the stuff for the lettuce. So I was gonna make like some taco salad bowls, which I have the stuff for that, but I wanted to make like a Caesar salad with salmon or shrimp and I have no Caesar dressing. So I have to go back to the store. I also don't have any Parmesan cheese, but it's cool. We'll have to go back to the store for that. You guys, do you guys believe I have sweet potato chips? So if you know me or you like a snowflake, y'all probably know I don't like sweet potatoes. If you didn't know, you know now, like I do not eat sweet potatoes, but I've been eating gusto. I've had it on my Instagram um, a couple of times uh, last month. Uh, that's why you should be following me so you could see what's going on on the day to day. I had gusto for the first time last month and I ate it I think at least twice that month and it was pretty good. And they give you sweet potatoes when you order your food. And the guy when I first went said, hey, I, you know we add, cause he knew it was my first time. He's like, we add sweet potatoes to every order. And I'm like, I don't even like sweet potatoes. He's like, you don't? And I was like, no, but you know what? I'ma try it. Cause I'm just trying to try more things, especially if they're healthy um i want to try it y'all don't eat sweet potatoes but those sweet potatoes at gusto's were so freaking good and i mean i figured that the trader joe's are going to be just as good because they're clean it's literally just sweet potato and salt 
and the gusto ones tasted just like they had a little sprinkle of salt on them and that's it so i'm pretty much sure that they're going to taste the same and these are bomb now when you look at the macros y'all they're not that much better than regular chips um I looked at some chips at the store so like I think for about the same amount of chips for like hot fries it's the same it's 170 so it is more calories but not that much more and the protein this is not a protein fine however wait I got y'all but I'm just showing y'all what I got and this is something that I got um probably won't buy these on the regular because when I show y'all my protein fine just just keep that in mind just remember Y'all, my camera died, and I tried to shoot this with my phone, and the file was too big, and I couldn't get it to my computer, and this is just a mess. So, I'm basically reshooting this, and now the groceries are everywhere all over the table. <laughs> and it don't look like, I, now I'm like, oh, what, did I really get a lot? Or, I, mean, I could be missing something. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to reshoot this video. Y'all, y'all can see the food is like spread out because I just hurried up and like grabbed it out of the refrigerator. Wow, look at the first of the month. Anyway, from Trader Joe's, y'all, I got eggs. I typically get the bigger uh, portion of eggs because I eat a lot of them. I eat like three a day. Um, sometimes more depending on what I'm having later, but for breakfast, it's always three eggs. So I like to get at least 18 at a time, but Trader Joe's doesn't have that. So I have the 12 jumbo eggs, nothing to see here. I have Brussels sprouts because you guys know I absolutely love them. These are very shaved down like, so I would saute them, but I did get the whole ones because uh, when I want them like roasted, I used to buy them already cut and they would be like dried out. So um, I figured out that just cutting them myself and not being lazy really helped out a lot with that. So now I get them whole. I got this mac and cheese from Trader Joe's because I heard great things about it online and it is cheddar, Swiss, Havarti, and Gouda. And I'm like, yo, I hope this is really good. It's not the best, you know, calorie wise, but for the whole container, it is 720 calories and one serving is 360. And when you look at the protein, one serving is 16 grams. Of course, I would not eat the whole container, um, but for the one serving at 16 grams, I guess it's okay, especially if your protein source, like your meat that you're gonna eat with it is high, I guess it will work out. I also got roasted corn from Trader Joe's because I haven't had corn in so long. And so I got that. I finally replenished the roasted the potatoes last time I went to Trader Joe's they did not have these available and I was super duper sad about it so um I got to get them again and I just love eating these in the morning they're easy to just make because you can just put them in the microwave and I know this was supposed to be a haul about protein but it is coming it is coming but I had to share with you guys first I pick up these buffalo burgers, which are bison. One of you made a comment in one of my videos saying that uh, bison was a pretty good protein source. And I'm not sure in comparison to ground beef because um, I didn't look at any ground beef ones. But you do see 25 grams of protein for a patty at 370 calories. And even though I know a turkey burger would have been so much better, I could not get turkey because I just really don't care for turkey burgers. And also because I was super duper excited about this magnificent sauce that Trader Joe's has and I want to try it. It's basically like Big Mac sauce or burger sauce, in and out sauce. And honestly, they have stuff like this at Kroger and Walmart and Publix. But like I told you guys before, or maybe I didn't because this is refilmed. Um, I'm a Trader Joe's junkie. So like when Trader Joe's release something, I just gotta have it. So because I really want to try this sauce and I really wanted you know, it to be everything that it was supposed to be, I didn't want to pair it with the turkey burger. I just went ahead and um, got beef. And again, you know, it's, it's okay. Of course, the turkey burgers are way less calories for just as much protein, which is why turkey burgers are such like, you know, a hot topic as far as eating healthy because when it all boils down to it I don't feel like there's healthy or unhealthy foods I feel like there's certain foods that's going to help you achieve a goal and there's certain foods that are not so like nutrient dense foods that have a certain amount of protein lower amount of calories if you're watching your weight um would be better than like potato chips and not because potato chips are unhealthy I know some of you guys would disagree but because potato chips just don't do anything like there's nothing in them but carbs and salt <laughs> but yeah so that's my little take on that I did purchase another ribeye steak um I told you guys I wasn't going to eat a lot of steak because last time I did I didn't realize that this entire thing is like a thousand calories but it just depends on what you ate for the day so like 
um, today I hadn't eaten. I just ate when I tried to record this and it was like five o'clock. So now it's 6 11 and I, that was my first meal of the day. So this would have been a great day to have this steak because I just literally had like two chicken fingers and some baked beans. Um, so I definitely will have the calorie allotment for this. But if I don't eat this on a day where my calories were low, you could just, you know, eat half of it. Um, but last time when I ate the entire thing, it was about 900 calories and the protein was insane. It was great, but um, you just wanna make sure that that was a day you didn't eat that much when you eat stuff like this, or you could just eat it like, you know, split it in half. I also picked up some ground turkey from Trader Joe's because protein. <laughs> um, it's less calories and more protein. Again, that's what I'm looking at now since I am trying to actually shed some weight. So I, they also had ground chicken and I would have preferred that just because y'all, I'm not a turkey fan, but the ground chicken didn't have as much protein as the turkey did. So I said, okay, I'll just suck it up and eat the ground turkey. I also picked up some meat for my little charcuterie stuff that you guys know I like. Um, yeah, and so the protein for this is like for an ounce of each is about eight, a seven or eight. This one is seven and these are eight. And this, it, this is everything I got from Trader Joe's. Now coming over to Whole Foods, I did pick up some pico because that's just a relish that I really, really like. I got this Beyond Meat breakfast sausage that I'm really excited about because the protein is 11 grams for two patties, which is like, oh, okay, you know, but the calories is 180 for two patties and the breakfast sausage that I usually eat is like 140 for one patty. So this is very good. Again, you're getting a nice amount of protein and the calories are low and that's really what I'm trying to do. Every time I eat, I wanna eat is less, and not really less cause I'm still aiming for about 1900 at least calories a day, but I wanna get as much protein without going over my calories. So stuff like this help. And I've heard great things about the Beyond Meat, especially the spicy, so we'll see. See. I also got this big bag of shrimp from Whole Foods. This entire bag was $15. Y'all, the macros on shrimp are insane and I am just now finding this out. So as you can see here for about 14 grams of shrimp is 80 calories, which is damn near nothing if you ask me, but look at the protein. Like, wow, I did not know that shrimp was so awesome in terms of low calorie and protein. I knew it was low calorie, but I didn't know the protein was that high. And this is why I've been eating a lot of seafood because they're just, it's just lower in calories with the protein being high. I also re-upped on tilapia. I've been eating a lot of tilapia. Same thing, one piece is about 110 calories and 23 grams. So tilapia has been my go-to. I make a lot of fish tacos with it and now I'm actually gonna try some shrimp tacos with the shrimp. These I am very, very excited about and this is really why I was like, oh my God, I wanna record a grocery haul. So y'all, potato chips, right? But made out of chicken breast. They are 10 grams per serving. I've had this flavor the other day, y'all. Absolutely amazing. It tastes like fried chicken skin to me. Um, I love it. I think it's very, very cool. And coincidence, I think not, but the day I posted this on my Instagram, y'all, I went to Whole Foods today and literally this was the only bag of this flavor left. So, I mean, somebody's watching because I'm just like, what? Meanwhile, the other flavor was fully stocked and it wasn't the one I featured because I actually haven't had this flavor. So this is the same thing. Uh, chips made out of chicken breast, 10 grams per serving, but it's the Nashville hot chicken. Pretty sure it'll be good, but um, haven't tried it. They also had a vinegar and salt flavor, but I'm kind of like, yo, I don't think I want chicken that's vinegar and salt flavor. That's just, yeah, I don't know. But hot should be good because it's hot. Last but certainly not least, you guys, I got these pumpkin cream cheese muffins from Whole Foods. Whole Foods has this crazy hold on me right now, especially their bakery section. Their goods, their baked goods are top tier. And I'm sorry, but I love to have something sweet to have at least a couple of times a week. Sometimes if my calories was real good, I can do it a couple days in a row. It just depends on what I was doing that day. And it is only 270 calories for one of these muffins, which is really good considering that I got some Patty LaBelle, y'all. Patty LaBelle, right? Yeah, Patty LaBelle <laughs> got this banana pudding at Walmart, like where her pies is. That banana pudding is so good. And like the cup I had was the size of a muffin, and it was 500 calories just for that one cup. 
so yeah this is a much better alternative and they all shooken up because the way i put them in the bag but yeah i'm really irritated that i had to film that over and it was sloppy like that because it was so much better the first time around but i was like yo i need to hurry up and get this up so it'll still be february 1st by the time they see it so i actually I asked y'all to leave a protein emoji in the last video but since we're here now, y'all might as well leave a clock emoji because the time is ticking and I, I just had to rush through it. I'm sorry, but you guys got the point. You guys got to see what I got for the month. This will pretty much last me the whole month. Don't know if that was in the beginning or not or if they got caught it, caught it, if they got cut out. But yeah, this food should definitely last me almost the whole month, and especially since I have salmon in the freezer from last month. So I feel like about $100 was a little bit over. It's good for the month and I'll have to go like restock eggs and like veggies but protein wise we're pretty much solid so leave the clock emoji if you're still here check out other videos for me here on the screen i'll see you guys in my next video